Hey, thanks for following along on my page, Warrior Woodworks, whether if you're watching uh, on Facebook or on Instagram, I really appreciate the, the following. Um, I thought it'd be interesting for you as a follower to learn a little bit more about, about me as the craftsman behind all the things that you see that I post. Uh, I am what would many would call a sentimental fool, and I'm okay with that title. Uh, I'm actually kind of proud of it. I love history. I love uh, old things. I love antiques. Uh, I, I just, there's something about it that just really interests me. Um, in my family, I'm kind of considered the family historian. And that's, a, that's another title that I don't mind at all. I, I quite enjoy it. I just love researching family history, finding out new things. That's there's few thrills quite quite like finding something really cool about your family history and I put my heart and soul into what I do with Warrior Woodworks and I put just a little bit more when what I'm working with is something that is sentimental something that is a little bit extra special to to me or to my family or to our family farm and and I'm a I'm a very emotionally expressive person at times I get uh, I get very emotional um, when it comes to family and when it comes to things that I care deeply about um, it's uh, it's something that's you, you know if you're like me you just can't control it and I've learned that that's okay and I haven't gotten better over time I've probably gotten worse <laughs> and that's okay too uh, so anyway, I want to show you three things I've made uh, just recently that uh, are made from stuff that has a lot of meaning. So they're all ice cream scoops, by the way. So this one here, as you can see, it's a hybrid. So it's got resin and maple in it. So the maple I have used for lots of different projects uh, from the tree that that came from. Is from a tree that my great-grandparents planted in uh, around 1910 on the family farm. Uh, they planted many trees, but that one had a lot of burls on it that I was able to save thanks to my brother uh, once the tree died, and I've made lots of cool stuff with it. Um, this next one is made, again, it's a hybrid with resin, and I put straw flowers in it just like the last one. And the wood I used is from a willow fence post uh, from the family farm that's probably over 100 years old. And according to the homestead records from, from our homestead, um, there's detailed records as to how my great-grandparents uh, proved up the land and to satisfy the requirements um, for the Homestead Act. And part of that requirements was building a fence for the cattle that they had in um, the area of Saskatchewan. It was very hilly. They needed cattle as well as uh, grain farming to, uh, to really make use of the land well. The last one is a little super special. I used a little bit of wood from that maple tree again. But you can see in there, there's uh, pine cones as well. And these pine cones aren't just any pine cones I got from any old tree. They're from a little pine tree growing right beside my Grandma King's um, gravestone in the cemetery where she's buried. It's the only tree growing in the middle of the cemetery. And those pine cones drop down right onto her gravestone every year. And I saved some one year when I was there to pay my respects. And uh, they went into this very special ice cream scoop. And all three of these are going to some very special people that I care a lot about. All right. Thanks very much.